Good day. My name is Walter Rowe. I'm a Capture One affiliate, and I wanted to follow up on a question I received to a comment of one of my prior videos. I made a series of videos on traveling with Capture One, and a comment came regarding, or a question came in the comments regarding how to move a catalog and its images from your, let's say, your laptop to your home desktop if all of the images are in referenced folders on the traveling machine. And th this is one of the trickiest uh, ways that you can use Capture One is, is having reference catalogs uh, where you then need to move the catalogs and images to a new machine. Um, Capture One, you can see here I have a catalog open and on my desktop I have a folder called Newport and underneath there, I have a folder called images. And inside, uh, notice that, that inside the images, I have folders that are by date. So my wife and I traveled to Newport, Rhode Island in 2013. And, you know, I took pictures on multiple days. And so I put each set of pictures for those days in their own folders. This is pretty common. People like to file things away by date. So, Let's imagine that this is on a laptop that I've carried with me and I'm now back home and I want to move all the stuff over to my desktop and I therefore need to have, uh, you know, I'm probably going to use like an external drive, uh, like a portable drive or a flash drive uh, to copy all this off of one computer, attach it to the desktop at home and then copy it to the computer at home uh, and then ingest it into my primary catalog at home. Uh, let's go to Finder. In Finder, you'll see that I, on my desktop, I have this Newport folder. And inside my Newport folder, I actually have my Newport catalog, which is what is open on the screen. And I have the Images folder which maps to the same as the images, you know, the folders tree inside of Capture One. And there's the, the, in the picture, you know, the date uh, timestamps for, um, you know, each day, all the folders for each day. And now let's say that I'm ready to move this all to my, uh, my home computer. So first I need, uh, a, an external computer or an external drive that I'm going to copy it all to. And so I'm going to close Capture One. Let's imagine this is running on the laptop. So I'm going to, I'm going to close Capture One. I'm going to take the entire uh, Newport folder and I'm going to copy it to my external drive. In this case, I'm just going to use a, another drive I have attached to this computer. And this is going to take a minute or two to copy. Um, but I'd really do want to walk through the entire process end to end uh, to be able to demonstrate um, what we're going to do here. You'll notice on my desktop, uh, I have a, let me get rid of this here. I have a folder called pictures and, um, and it's empty. And let's imagine that this is the pictures folder in my home, on my you know, home directory uh, that I'm going to use when I get home. So we're going to wait for this to finish copying. Uh, this will go pretty quick. This is all solid state disk. So we're copying to the external drive. So this is my tutorials drive. You can see the Newport folder. Uh, and now this is all copied. So you can see inside of here, we've got the images folder and we've got the catalog uh, that was inside that folder as well. This, is, this has been copied, quote unquote, from my laptop to my external hard disk. So now I've got this uh, on my desktop, I've got this pictures folder. So now I'm attached, now I've moved the hard drive from my laptop to my desktop and it's showing up here and I want to take now my Newport folder and I want to copy it from my external drive to my desktop. So now we're dragging and dropping from the external drive now to the internal drive 
or perhaps another external drive like a NAS drive or something if you have that uh, if that's where you tend to store your pictures when you're on your home computer but I'm going to do this to my internal drive for speed so we're going to copy this to the internal drive in this pictures folder this is going to go right along I'm going to just close that window we don't need that anymore and here we have my uh, all this stuff now almost copied over. It's going to go pretty quick. Um, so when, we, when this is finished, we're going to have the same Newport folder on my home computer as we saw uh, on the laptop. So I've, I've taken the whole folder tree. I, notice, notice that on the laptop, I did put everything under one folder. That, that's important because that makes it easy to move the whole thing uh, in one shot because you can just drag the top level folder to your external drive from the laptop wait for it to copy disconnect the drive from the laptop attach it to your home computer plug it in and when you go to that drive on the home computer you take the single folder and you copy it into your home computer so here we are got the home computer it's got the images folder that has all the date folders inside with all the requisite images inside them and I've got the uh, the um, catalog itself so now I'm going to open the catalog first I'm also going to get rid of the uh, Newport folder that was on my desktop so we're, we're going to pretend I'm on the desktop and not on the laptop anymore so that new Newport folder wouldn't exist on the desktop now you can see in the folder tree in Catcher 1 that it says all these folders are not present. So it's not present because they're not in the location it thinks they are. On the laptop, we had a top level folder called Newport under desktop. Well, on the home computer, when we copied Newport over to the home computer, we put it inside of our pictures folder. So it's now in a different location. So what we have to do is tell Capture One the new location of this top level folder. So I'm going to right select on the Newport folder inside the Capture One folders tool. I'm gonna to highlight locate. And I'm gonna to go to desktop, pictures, Newport and select the new location where this Newport folder resides. When I do that, now you can see that Capture One has resolved the links to all the pictures. And when I come back up here, the picture no longer says it's offline. It now knows where it is because we've corrected the path to all of the pictures that are known in the catalog by reference. So that illustrates how you would get your travel catalog with its referenced images from your travel computer to an external drive and then from the external drive to your home computer and then reopen the catalog and tell the catalog the new location of the images. So this this doesn't get them yet into your master catalog but this gets your travel catalog and all of its images transferred from your laptop to your home computer. Now you can close this catalog and you can let's imagine that I have a, a new master catalog uh, travel pictures uh, and I'll just put that uh, in my pictures folder on the desktop just for uh, just for illustration so let's imagine that we now have a master travel pictures catalog and at home, I would go import catalog, capture one catalog. And I see I'm in my desktop pictures folder. I go into Newport and I would select my Newport catalog. And I would choose import. And it's now going to import all of the pictures from that Newport catalog into my master travel pictures catalog. Now when it imports this catalog, it's going to import all the images, it's going to import any metadata, keywords, 
uh, all, all of your ratings and labels that you did, that you applied uh, in your catalog uh, as you were traveling. It's all going to be preserved here in your master catalog. It will have to rebuild all of the previews and thumbnails. That will take some time. So don't, don't despair. You'll just have to let it go through and, and take its time doing that. But uh, here I will just go down and find the image uh, that we were looking at at the beginning. Uh, I know it is a breakers picture from Newport, Rhode Island. Here we are. And I know it's the breakers picture with all these young folks. And you can see that uh, you know, it, all the adjustments have been preserved. It popped right back. Um, let me see if I have any pictures. I don't know if I have any pictures that have ratings. Here's a three-star rating picture. So you can see the ratings have been preserved. If I go to the information panel, you can see that all of my metadata has been preserved here. You can see that my keywords have been preserved on the left-hand side in the keyword tool. Uh, let me close metadata so you can see all the keywords. I'll resize this to auto so you can see all the keywords have been preserved um, everything about this has been preserved so here's my master travel pictures uh, catalog it has been uh, it I have imported my Newport travel catalog into it and successfully migrated the pictures from the laptop uh, to the home computer ingested it into my master catalog I hope this has been helpful uh, if you find this helpful and you want to support my channel, buy me a coffee. The link is in the description to the video. If you need some one-on-one -on -one assistance, I have an extras on my buy me a coffee page where you can request a one-on-one -on -one time with me. Uh, and I'm happy to schedule that time with you and help you through challenges you may have with Capture One. If you're migrating from Lightroom or Apple Aperture and need help with that process, I'm very skilled in both of those applications and migrating catalogs and libraries from them into Capture One and would be happy to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with you helping you. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching.